everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes that I believe will be on the chopping block for me for 2023. There are eyeshadow palettes that I have basically neglected this year or I have used them and still do not love them. So my goal really would be, I want to say in the first half of the year next year, I want to try to fall in love with these palettes and if I don't, I usually do a mid-year declutter, if I don't, these are on the chopping block so most likely they will go. I'm just at the point now where they're just sitting around and I, they look pretty but there's just not palettes that I grab or, or want to use that much. And some of them will surprise you, some of them won't. Some of them you'll be like, I didn't even know you had that because I never <laughs> use it, I never talk about it, I never pull from my shop my stashes. So, you know, it, it's a mixture of all of those. But yeah, I have my pile right here. I'm wearing um, a little Christmas jumper because it's getting close to Christmas. So I thought, let's wear a little jumper, I've got quite a few Christmas jumpers. This is sort of one that I can wear every day and it's not too bad, it's a little reindeer and it's cute. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into all the palettes that I want to share with you. There is quite a stack here, so um, yeah, we'll get through it. All right, these are, no, these are in no particular order. I just have pulled them and they're just sitting as they are. So I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom. So the first one here, I actually have it currently in my shop, my stash, but I haven't used it yet, which is the Pixie Heart Defenser. Now this one I picked up at a TK Maxx uh, back when I lived in England, and I picked it up for quite a steal because obviously TK Maxx um, is usually all discounted. Um, and I remember liking it, using it, but then I haven't used it all year long. It's been a year since I've used it. Well over a year, I think, since I've used this. And that's why I pulled it from my shop, my stash. But, you know, if I just don't fall in love with this, I guess now, um, you know, while I do my shop, my stash, and, and obviously, you know, in the year, if I feel like I still don't love it enough, I might end up having to declutter this. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't pull it, and I don't want to have palettes sitting in my collection that I don't want to use. Not that I don't like them necessarily, but if I'm not wanting to use you or thinking about using you, then most likely I shouldn't even have you. So yeah, this is the first one here that I am debating on whether or not I should keep it. Next up is another one that I have in my current shop, my stash, and it is the Flutterby by Colourpop. So this is stunning. <laughs> this is a stunning palette. It's beautiful. Um, and the shades are beautiful too. There's actually nothing wrong with this palette at all, but my love for it. I do not love this palette. I don't know why I don't love it. I'm hoping that I fall in love with it. But if I don't fall in love with it, again, it's another one that's just sitting in my collection, you know, getting more and more dusty and old. And I just feel like there's other people out there who could love this more than me and it's barely used, so unless I use a lot of it in my shop mustache right now and, you know, end up falling in love with it, I think this one also is one that isn't on my chopping block and definitely is to be considered decluttered at some point. Then I got this one, this is the little quad from Sophia and Maybell. I did not buy this, this was in a subscription box back when I had subscription boxes, and this is the Aphrodite palette. I do have a tiny itty bitty pan here, oops, right here, um, but otherwise it is a very very simple quad and um, I don't know, I just don't, I don't really have a use for it, um, you can only really do one look with it and uh, it's not really special enough for me to spend a lot of time on. So this one most likely will remain as a chopping block item, I don't think I'm going to fall in love with it. Um, I think I've gotten the use out of it that I wanted to. I didn't pay full price because it came as a subscription box. Full price of this is of actually £25, which is shocking. Um, I don't even know if they're still making products because I got this two years ago. So I, I can't imagine anybody spending that much money on this because it's not good enough. Um, but yeah, I just think there's no point me keeping it. I feel like I've used it, I have a pan, I could use it a little bit more, maybe I will in the next six months or seven months before I do sort of a recap of where I am with these, but I don't know, I just feel like this one is not one that I'm going to want to keep around. Okay, next up is this palette here. This is the Sand Haze palette from Donna Beauty. I picked this up in a local store here in Portugal and it was only one euro 99, so I just wanted to try it. And honestly, I think the color story is really beautiful and the mattes are not that bad actually. The mattes are pretty good, it's just the shimmers are 
pretty poor quality as you would expect for such a cheap palette. So this one I just feel like, you know, I got to play around with it uh, in September. I took it with me when I went to England and, you know, I got to use it. I, I've, I realized what it was all about, use every shade. And I just feel like, you know, do I really need to keep it in my collection? Would I use this over something else? Probably not. So I think at this point it needs to be decluttered eventually. So it is one of my chopping block palettes. This next one won't be a surprise to anyone, but it is the Alva from Odin's Eye. I got this in their mystery box this year. And I just feel like, <sighs> It was just so disappointing. I loved the color story. It was, this was one of the palettes that I was hoping to get because I knew everyone was getting palettes. And I saw so many people get the Alva. I was like, I really hope I get the Alva because I wanted to buy it and, and I have it now. So <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I just think it's utterly disappointing. The color story isn't all that versatile, but I really liked the color story. So I didn't mind that. Um, I think the problem that I have with, I just don't think the quality is there. I don't think the shimmers are very good. I think they're lackluster and I think the mattes are okay. I actually like the mattes and I know some people say the complete opposite. They like the shimmers in this palette, but they hate the mattes. So I think it's all up to preference, but I don't know. There's such a big hype with Odin's Eye. I expected more. I, I know from what everyone is saying, their more recent palettes are much better quality than their older palettes, and this is one of their older palettes, so I do take that in mind. Um, but I just feel like they're very, very disappointing shimmers, and there are so many shimmers in this palette. The only shimmer that I kind of like is this one, and also Cherry Blossom. So I just think the rest are just, I don't know, they're just not... They're not flaky enough. I think that's the problem. I don't know what it is. I just don't. I just don't enjoy the formula. So this one is on the chopping block. I don't want to declutter it. I really hope that I do end up falling out in love with it, but I've given it a lot of chance, so I don't know. Okay, and then I have another ColourPop here. This is the Whatever palette. I don't hate this palette. Like, some of these palettes I really don't hate. I just don't ever want to use. I think that's the problem. I think the shades become a little bit redundant, uh, for me because I have them over and over again in my collection and I think the palette itself is pretty ugly. I got this in a Colourpop bundle so I think you get four of these 12 pans all together when I purchased the bundle which was a year ago, over a year ago now and this was in the bundle so it wasn't one of the palettes that I necessarily wanted um, but I received it in that bundle and I just, you know, I, I never really loved it. I've never fallen in love with it. Obviously you do get a super shock uh, shadow there, but I don't really care for those. And then you get this glitter, which is not a very nice color glitter. Um, the mattes are fine. Um, you know, it, it is quite heavy on the mattes, and then there's only really um, these three shimmers here, and then obviously you get the super shock. I don't know. I just don't find it all that interesting enough for me to keep around, but I also don't hate it. Like, the quality is good these colors I can use. It's a little bit more warm tone that I that I would like, although, I don't know, my preference keep changing, so I don't know. I like warm tones now, apparently. But, so this one doesn't bother me that way either. It's just not a palette that excites me. So I'm just thinking, well, do I wanna keep you around? And I don't love it, so I would like to fall in love with it. If I don't, then I think it belongs in my chopping block, and I think potentially it could be one that I declutter soon. Okay, next up, I've always said I really like this palette, and I do, but I also think, at the end of the day, I haven't used it in a really long time, do I need to keep it? And it is this quad from Bella Pierre. This is the Brown Eyed Girl. I got this in a subscription box. I didn't purchase it. It comes with uh, two shimmers, one glitter and one matte. Um, you know, the quality is really nice. I don't mind any of these, and I have done beautiful looks with them. And these two shimmers could honestly be highlighters as well. They work really nicely. Um, I just never pull this palette. I just, I see it, I was like, oh, that's a cute palette. It's good for traveling. I don't really travel that much anymore. So, you know, I don't really need it. Um, it's just, it's just sticking around because it's cute. And I had a couple good experiences with it when I did nice looks. But other than that, I don't really think about this palette. And it's just another one where do I need to keep it? Even though it's cute and it's fine, I don't love it, should I keep it? So that's why I'm putting it in my chopping block because I just don't really know either way what I should do with that. Next up is a palette that 
um, I just don't think I like at all. <laughs> I don't know why, there's something about it I just don't like. And it's from Juvia's Place and it is the Blush Rose. So I got the bundle, I got the Blush Rose and the Bronze Palette together in a little duo. I love the Bronze Palette, but this one, I just don't know what it is about it. I think the individual shades themselves are really beautiful. I've never even used the palette really in like a, a full look. I've only used one or two shades or swatched it. Um, which is another reason why I'm just iffy about it. I don't know if I like this palette and I never remember that I have it. I never remember to pull it. I have no interest, no excitement to use this palette and I don't know, maybe it's the color story, maybe the, those roses just don't interest me. I just don't know what it is, but it just doesn't, it's just not interesting enough for me. And I just I think at this point, do I want to keep it? Is it going to stick around? I don't know. So um, yeah, this is another one where I'm just like, oh yeah, I have you. I've never used you. Should I keep you? Um, I've got another ColourPop here. This one is one that is stunning, very, very beautiful, but I never use it. It is the Lilac You A Lot. And it's one of their nine pans, obviously. And I, I remember before I got this, I really, really wanted it. And then I got it and I've used it only a handful of times. I really haven't used it that much. I have done a, um, a No Pan Left Behind, so I've used every single shade. I've used it in a shot my stash. So, um, you know, I have actually, now I probably would have used this 10 times then, maybe. Um, but I don't remember any of the looks I created. I don't know what it is. I think it's all too monochromatic for me. I know all, I have a lot of their monochromatic palettes, but some in some of them you can find versatility. I think there's versatility in the green one, um, in the red one, um, I can't even think of their names right now. Um, the uh, honey is, is a little bit more interesting too. Maybe not so much the orange you glad one, um, you know, but I have so many of their monochromatic nine pan palettes. I just find this one to be dull. I think they all sort of are in the same color wheel and, and it's, it's all one note. It's all very cool tone, which is nice because I like cool tone, but if you do one look with this, it's kind of going to look the same every time you do it. So it's more of a companion palette in my mind and not so much a one palette, one look. And I, I don't know, I just, because of that, I tend to forget that I have it. I don't pull it for looks that I do because I usually pull palettes or a pal or two, three palettes to make a look, but I know exactly which shades I want to pull on those palettes. Here, you know, yeah, maybe I would pull this one for a beautiful inner corner um, if I'm doing a purple look, if I remember to, but there's so many other in the corners that I could pull. So I don't know, it's just not interesting enough for me and I feel like it should be in the chopping block because I don't think about it and I don't really love it. Okay, so I have another color pop here. This is the Sweet Talk and this was in that bundle with the whatever palette. And I, I actually got the bundle because I really wanted this palette at the time. And so I got it and I have not even used this as a no pan left behind. I haven't even used all of the shades in this palette and I've had it over a year. It's really, really bad. But I don't have any interest in using it. I don't know what it is. It's like when you get what you want or what you thought you wanted, it's not always what you wanted in the end. And I know this year for a very long time, I wasn't into warm tones and it's very peachy and warm tone. And I completely went off that color scheme for so many months. I was into my cool tone era. So I think potentially, um, I'm hoping come this next spring that I will be more into my peaches and then I will pull this because I will love it. I, I, it's usually my favorite color. I just don't, I don't know. I just haven't wanted to grab it at all. So it's been wasted on me and it's on my chopping block, not because the shades aren't beautiful, but because I simply don't even use it, so. All right, here is one from Primark. This is the neon uh, the orange one, and I just, I you know, it was kind of a, a palette that I wanted to declutter last year, and then I was gonna depot it early this year, and I en ended up, I didn't do that, and then I never used it, and I just feel like I need to make a decision about this because I don't know what to do with it. I, it's not the best quality, but I do like the colors. I like some of the vibrancy of the colors. And I wanna see if I can make it work. Cause I have the green version of this and I can make it work. I depotted the pink one cause I just didn't like the pink one. But this one, I, I feel like the color story is interesting. 
And if I can work around the formula not being so good, then I want to keep it. But if I can't, then I have to get rid of it. So this one is one where I just, I really need to play around with it. I need to figure out if I like it or not. And then I will make an informed decision. Okay, moving on, I have my last ColourPop here. This is the Baby Got Peach. So this one actually really is the same it's in the same sort of category as the Sweet Talk because I really wanted this palette. I thought it was so cute. I got the Baby Got Peach bundle. And since I got this palette, I have barely used it. I have obviously hit pan in this shade here, which is the glitter. It was very easy to do, but I have not used this palette in its entirety. I haven't done a no pan left behind with this palette. And it's all peachy tones. And I and while I had this palette and I was looking at it, I was so off my peachy warm tones. And so now I feel like, well, that's not fair for me to declutter this because I'm not ready to the point where I want to get rid of it. But I don't know, like, what do you think I should do? I, I'm, I'm hoping come spring I will like this again. And just like the Sweet Talk, I'm hoping I fall in love with it. I'm hoping that it's super beautiful. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I not like this before? Why did I spend so long not using it? But um, yeah, it has to be on the chopping block because I just simply don't use it. I look at it, I'm like, nah, I don't wanna use that. And it's beautiful, like what's wrong with me? So I need to give it some more love and see if I fall in love with it. If I don't fall in love with it, I kinda need to just give it away. All right, I got two more. So the next one is an Essence palette. This is Out in the Wild. This one, there's nothing really wrong with it. The quality is just okay. It's not the best quality, but it's not the worst. Um, I think I'm just bored of it. I got it because I wanted to try Essence. I did an all Essence look a couple years ago because um, I'd never tried Essence before. So just thought, let's just do a whole look, a whole, whole look of Essence. And I, I picked this palette up and I like this palette a lot but there's not a lot of versatility with it. So it's all one note, and if I'm not into my greens or my grungy greens, then what else am I gonna do with this palette? Nothing. Um, and I think that's why it's on the chopping block because I don't know if I wanna keep it because I've got some really nice greens and these aren't them. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where I, I would, I'm kind of keeping it because it's my only essence palette, but is that, that's stupid to do, right? So I think I'm going to put it in my chopping block because I just don't pull for it, I don't think about it, and I might just end up giving it to my mum because she really liked, um, what shade did she like? She liked one of these shades. I think it was this shade, she loved that shade when she came to visit us. So I might just give her this palette next time I see her because I'm not using it. All right, and then the last palette that's on my chopping block is the Sigma Corda Rosa. This one breaks my heart, <laughs> it really does. Because if you watch my channel for the last year, especially like this, like last year in January time or February time, I was really trying to love this palette. I was really, I was so excited I got it. I was so happy to have it. Um, it's a palette that I had my eye on for a while before I bought it. And then I got it and I was just so disappointed. It was kind of like the Alva from Odin's Eye. I, my expectations were up here and then the palette was just like down here. Um, the formula is fine and I don't know if all Sigma formulas are like this. I just don't like them. I think the mattes are fine. It's just the shimmers. I don't like the shimmers. They're too thin um, and they get hard pan quite a bit or they just, you know, they kind of look like they're getting hard pan in some of them. And I just don't find them all that interesting. They're really just lackluster. And then actually this matte over here is terrible. It doesn't even show up on my skin. So I just don't think this palette worked for me, which is so upsetting because I just, I think it's so beautiful. And I really want to love it. So I'm going to give it one more chance. I am. I'm going to give it one more chance to see if I can fall in love with it, see if I change my mind. You know, this is like your last chance saloon, girl, basically. You you have one more chance with me, so <laughs> that's it. Um, so yeah, those are all the palettes that are on my chopping block. As I said, I'm going to give it about six months into the year, um, see how I feel, and then I'll do like a recap video and let you know if I declutter anything. I might do an, a mid-year declutter anyway at that point, but I still will do like a recap video of how I kept these palettes and not, because I think that's always fun to do. And um, yeah, I, I really just want to spend the next six, seven months figuring out if I like these palettes or not, or right, if, if they're if they serve a purpose to my collection, because some of them are nice, as I said, there's nothing wrong with them, but they don't have a purpose to my collection, so I kind of need to just give them away. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all next time. Bye!